Sie zählen zu den rätselhaftesten Bands Amerikas, also schreibt jedenfalls eine bekannte Musikzeitschrift. Acht Jahre und fünf Platten später sitzt er nun hier, Peter von R.E.M. Hi. Hello. That was, that was amazing, wasn't it? Interesting. Anyway, I, I just told the people that R.E.M. is reckoned to be um, one of the most uh, riddlesome bands in the States. What's so, I mean, what's so secret about your band? I don't feel there's any real secret. You know, it's not like a party that no one can come to. Um, I think people aren't used to working a little bit with rock and roll. You know, most rock and roll is so straightforward and, you know, listen to it once, you understand what the songs were about. Ours take a little bit more work, you know, I think people aren't used to that. Um, I don't think we're so that confusing, a spe though. a special American phenomenon, or...? No. I see it everywhere, you know. I mean, all the, all the bands on TV and most of the radio. You know, the bands that I like are maybe a little bit hard to comprehend, too, but mm -hmm. you don't see them on TV much, don't hear them on the radio. What bands do you like? Sonic Youth, mm -hmm. um, Iggy Pop's great, he's here in town tonight. Yeah. Um, I was a bit disappointed, though, I saw him in Berlin. Um, I haven't seen this tour. He's always good. Mm. I mean, I, he's he like is, but his band is uh, well. Okay, I'll, I'll get that across first. Okay. okay, the rätselhafteste Band, was dran ist, er meint, er versteht es auch nicht so ganz. Vielleicht liegt es aber daran, dass sie eben ein bisschen um, auf dem Metier schwimmen oder machen, dass da heißt um, Songs mit Intelligenz, Songs, wo man ein bisschen nachdenken muss drüber. Er sagt auch, das gilt auch für seine persönlichen Lieblingsbands. Ihr habt es gehört, Sonic Youth ist dabei. Das äh, ist vielleicht ein bisschen ungewohnt und es sei auch bei weitem kein amerikanisches Phänomen allein. Um, nevertheless, there is a lot of people in the music business, um, especially in that, writers, who think that R.E.M. is the greatest since um, Dylan, mm. at least. Don't is it because you're, you, you try to put in intelligent lyrics? I don't know, I wouldn't believe uh -huh. everything you read, you know. Um, I think probably our the way that we write and the way that the band functions is probably just something that, that journalists can appreciate. I mean, it gives them something to write about. You can't really write mm -hmm. much about the Ramones. I love the Ramones. Mm -hmm. But what do you say about them? You know, mm -hmm. I mean, the songs are great, they're fun, and that's about it. Mm -hmm. um, journalists like something they can get their teeth into, something that they have to think about and, and can write reams of intelligent prose about and probably fulfill that space from them. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you form the band uh, with that uh, as an advertising point no. of you? <laughs> I mean, you know, when we started, we, just didn't, we didn't know what we were doing. We just started playing. Mm. And it was our hobby, you know. It was something we did to fill up the days and nights and stuff. And, and it wasn't until a couple of years after we started that we were actually taken seriously. People came to see us and, you know, realized that there was something there. We were always just kind of the local band from Athens. Mm -hmm. Also, er glaubt, dass es so ist, dass bei Bands wie zum Beispiel die Ramones, da gibt es einfach nicht viel drüber zu schreiben. Weil, man, was soll man schon über die Ramones sagen? Sie sind gut und sie machen Spaß. Und bei R.E.M. ist es eben so, dass die Journalisten ein bisschen aufgefordert werden, ein bisschen mehr zu tun. Da können sie ihre Zähne reinschlagen und deshalb kursieren also diese wahnsinnigen Geschichten über die Band. Deshalb wird so viel geredet über diese Band und deshalb so viel geschrieben auch. What's Georgia like or Athens like? Um, it's a real small town. It's mm -hmm. real conservative, but it's got a college in it, so there's a lot of kind of wild kids. Mm -hmm. um, Why? Aren't all college kids wild? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you know, I never went to college. I don't know. Uh -huh. um, but it's, it's kind of, so you've got this kind of small town that, that's real slow and real southern. And then there's a big influx every year of younger people who are kind of maybe not quite so conservative and not quite so... Yeah. Visiting the college yeah. from outside. So the town's kind of... I mean, it's half and half. You get a lot of like really old guys who, who farm and have pigs and chickens. And then you've got... You know, kids in leather jackets with mohawks mm. uh, forming punk bands, you know. Mm. It's mm. kind of uh, this strange dichotomy. Are you some uh, sort of a local hero there now? Can you walk the streets? Oh, sure, yeah. Uh, you know, nobody really cares. I mean, everyone knows who we are, and, and like all the old ladies on my street think it's cute, you know, that, mm -hmm. that there's a famous rock musician living in the street, but it's, you know, we live there. No one, it's not that much of a thrill. Everyone knows who we are, and, and mm. they see us every day, so it's not... You know, it's not a, kids don't follow me around or anything like that. Everyone saw some kid wave at me. And so, yeah. mm. Athens, Georgia, wo die Band herkommt, ist also scheinbar so ein richtiges Südstaatenkauf. Auf der einen Seite gibt es noch Hühner und 
Schweine und so weiter. Auf der anderen Seite ein College, wo ab und zu von auswärts irgendwelche wilden Studenten einbrechen und ein bisschen Stimmung in die Stadt bringen. Das ist also der Hintergrund, wobei ich nicht sagen möchte, dass die Musik irgendwas damit zu tun hat. Er kann jedenfalls in Athens noch auf der Straße gehen. Ältere Leute finden das ganz toll, dass in derselben Straße ein Rockstar wohnt. Wie gesagt, ob das was mit der Musik zu tun hat, müsst ihr entscheiden. You know, uh, Do you think it has any influence? Yeah, I don't think you can listen to, to our band and say those guys are from Georgia, they're from a small town, but if we lived in New York or, or Los Angeles, I know that we wouldn't be the same band, you know. Mm -hmm. Those are like the homes of the music business. You go mm -hmm. there and you have to struggle to get a date and, you know, it's it's like a war, you know, it's yeah. a real professional business. People yeah. are in it to make money and be famous. And you started it uh, out of sheer fun. Yeah, well, it's, it is fun, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is work too, it's my job, but... You know, and we we spent two years not taking it seriously at all. You know, we play, we basically played for beer money, and mm -hmm. you know, we worked hard. We tried to write good songs and be a better band, but we didn't have any great uh, hopes of being in the music business. We didn't think we'd get a record contract. We didn't even worry about it. Mm -hmm. You know, we just we kind of played for the pleasure of playing. Die Aufklärung über den Zusammenhang liefert er selbst. Also natürlich hat das schon was damit zu tun, wo er herkommt. Denn wenn sie aus New York wären, dann wäre das ganz anders. Weil in New York, in diesen Zentren der Musik, da wird ganz anders gekämpft. Da ist es wirklich wie Krieg, Musik zu machen und hochzukommen. Währenddessen bei Ihnen in Athens, in Georgia, da war es eben ganz anders. Die haben angefangen aus Spaß. Grundsätzlich eigentlich nur deswegen, um das Geld fürs Bier zusammenzukriegen. Und daraus entwickelt sich eine ganz andere Mentalität. Mittlerweile sieht er das aber auch als Job. Now you switched into the big world of music. What has what what did you lose? Did you lose um, anything you you've noticed? Not really. You know, um I miss kind of not being home a lot, being with my family, my my wife and stuff. But you know, I mean I'll have plenty of time to be at home when I'm fifty. And <laughs> you know, I'll sleep a lot then too I'll and I'll tell eat my all the wife time. About that. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it, it doesn't <laughs> She's not always happy when I disappear, but that's just the way it works, you know. Mm. And this is my job, and she's got her job that she loves too, and she's out late at night, she owns a bar, you know. All right. And I don't complain when she comes in at four in the morning, and she doesn't complain when I go away for a week, you know. Mm -hmm. That's really the only thing, but I'm so, you know, well rewarded in other ways. I get to see the world. I never left America before I was in this band. Mm. I get to go, you know, I'm paid to go everywhere. I've been in, in Europe for five days, and it's... You know, well, will uh, REM songs be different in the future through that experience? Did you did you see anything you would uh, say? Yeah, I got to put that into a future song. Um, I think probably knowledge of the world is important. In that you know we've been places and it's it's opened our, our eyes a lot to the, to I don't know maybe the differences between people and and the lack of differences for that matter. But. You know, I doubt we're going to make a concept album about Europe or, you know, mm. I mean, we don't make a concept albums about America. Right, right. But it just, you know, it, it broadens your, your outlook and, and shows you things about the world that maybe you didn't realize. Mm. Was sich bei ihm verändert hat, habe ich gefragt, so in diesem Leben jetzt da hinaus in die große Musikwelt. Naja, das Einzige, was er was sich verändert hat, ist, dass er seine Familie ein bisschen vermisst, weil er eben so oft weg ist. Aber er hat sich so eben mit seiner Frau abgesprochen die eine Bar besitzt, er kann ja noch genügend zu Hause bleiben, wenn er 50 ist. Ansonsten hat sie eben auch ihre Teil und er macht eben seine, Sach seine Sachen gut oder wie auch immer. Und die andere Frage richtete sich auf die Perspektive, die man gewinnt, wenn man eben zum ersten Mal aus Amerika rausgeht, ob sich das in den Songs niederschlägt. Ja, er denkt schon, zwar nicht unbedingt inhaltlich REM goes Europe oder so, sondern eher so allgemein, weil es eben den Blickwinkel erweitert. Well, I guess that was it. We gotta finish this. We've got another clip of yours, a new one, I hear. Uh, I, I assume, yeah, it should be out over I here. Assume. I wish you all the best, and I hope you'll be coming to Germany for an extensive tour. We'll be soon. here in May or June. We'll be here. May or June? Yeah, we haven't been here enough. That's the problem. We haven't been to Europe. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, we toured several times when nobody knew who we were. So mm. we, you know, we came over and played for six grand, weeks huh? and played to four people. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so this time it'll be nice. Well, you know, I mean, uh. I don't care if we play big places. I like to play smaller places, but. We won't be playing to nobody. Hmm. Bevor wir uns den neuen Clip von REM anschauen, noch eine gute Nachricht. Mai oder Juni ist es soweit, da kommen sie auf Tour. Endlich, er sagt, sie waren schon mal hier, aber haben sie in sechs Wochen vor vier Leuten gespielt und das ist ein bisschen wenig. Ich denke, das wird sich im Mai, Juni nächsten Jahres ganz schön verändert haben. Thank you very much. Dankeschön.